Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome on board to another episode of Anton 26. What do we have here today? Well, there is a Seagate hard disk, a free agent uh, Seagate hard disk, and I'm going to give one solution for every issue. So watch this video until the end, you will have a clue about how to fix any Seagate external disk just like this so try to remember that the solution I'm going to show you works in every Seagate external hard disk it will cost you 10 to 15 euros we don't care what the problem is if is an external cable if it's at the USB port or some other we don't really really care because the solution is inside and what I mean by that the real hard disk which is inside at uh, that case it's still alive and still working so stop wasting your time about what is wrong what I'm about to do is open this case remove the hard disk from inside and just put it in another brand new case that's all right here you can find a chip made from Seagate you don't care either because the solution is so so easy you remove all this thing you save your disk and you put it in another external case so what you're gonna need for the beginning is just a knife And don't worry, you're not going to break anything. And there you go. Open sesame. And there is one, two, three screws underneath. And you can easily remove that part, which is the half of the base of your external disk. We have two more screws right here, at the left and at the right side. We will also remove them. We will use our knife one more time. To make your life easier, it's better to use a big screwdriver. Try not to worry because you ain't gonna break anything, no matter how much you try. So what we really need is our disc which is right here and it's still alive. You try a little bit and you just remove everything around it. Don't worry about this little cable right here, it's just to turn on this light right here and show you that it's working when it's on so what's left is to remove the metal case from our disk We will also remove those little rubbers because underneath there are more screws. Just like you can see right here. Another 
another one right here. And two more from the other side, right here and here. What we have to do is to unplug this chip. I will remove it right now. And there you go. We remove this aluminum tape. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our disk is okay, it's still alive, and of course, it's still working. All our data are available right here, and I'm going to prove it to you right now. To be more specific, this Seagate is a Barracuda with uh, 250 gigabytes, and let's see if my theory is correct. All those things, including the case, the aluminum top and the chip is for the recycle bin, so we don't need them anymore. We're going to remove some dust and we will try to clean it a little bit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and here is the moment of truth, because we have connect our hard drive with an old system, just to see if it works. Before I try anything, I must say that my experience says that our hard disk is 100% alive, like you can see we have two old disks right here. I have unplug the second one and I use the wires that comes by him to connect this one. So let's file tap and yes it's still alive because I can feel it it's shaking it's vibrating so it's still alive. This one is the main hard disk and this is our Seagate hard disk with the 250 gigabytes. So here comes a recognition by BIOS. This was made by Logilink and designed in Germany. So let's check it out. The cost for this specific external case is about 16 euros. Of course supports uh, SATA HDD, SATA hard disk drives, and it was made for 3.5 inches, which is this specific size. So it's time for a short unboxing. It's really a big case and it's metal, it's metal quality and it looks really nice. This is for USB and of course the power supply and one more switch for on and off, up and down. Here comes a little screwdriver. To help you with uh, the side screws. The power supply of course. The USB cable. And 
last but not least and very very important the screws you're gonna need And this is our final step. And the only thing that remains is to check our disk one more time. Power supply right here. And USB port right here. It's time for our final step. Don't forget to turn it on. Let's see if it works. Of course it works and it works perfectly. And we can see that try to install the new driver, the new support, and our device is ready. And by the way, the virus will check our brand new hard disk. And like you can see, all files are right here. So ladies and gentlemen, and that was our tech video for today. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the uh, like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. So until next time, please be safe. And of course, thanks for watching.